Welcome to my channel. In this video, we will explore the significance of names in Henry Fielding's novel Joseph Andrews, providing insightful solutions to questions surrounding the use of names within the narrative. Shown us as we unravel the intricate web of symbolism and meaning attached to characters' names, offering nuanced perspectives that deepen our understanding of Fielding's literary techniques and thematic exploration. Fielding's complex naming practices. Fielding's naming practices in Joseph Andrews are more than just superficial identifiers. They are key components of his storytelling artistry. In this novel, names serve as clues that unlock the underlying significance of the narrative, unveiling central characters. Fielding introduces a cluster of characters whose names are pivotal to the novel's unity and meaning. Contrary to claims that Joseph Andrews is a divided work, we argue that Fielding had a dual purpose. Critiquing Richardson's Pamela and presenting his own view of true virtue. The twin heroes, Joseph Andrews and Abraham Adams, their names that reveal this duality. Joseph's surname connects him to Pamela Andrews, Richardson's heroine, while his given name links him to the biblical Joseph, enhancing his vow of chastity. Meanwhile, Abraham Adams is not just a patriarchal figure. He embodies Christian doctrine that counters the abuses Fielding saw in the clergy, offering a distinct alternative to Richardson's portrayal. Parody and significance in names. Parody is a potent tool in his arsenal, as seen in the transformation of Pamela's seducer into Lady Booby and Joseph's thwarting of her advances that echoes the biblical Joseph's resistance to Potiphar's wife. Such names reflect Fielding's attack on Richardson's perceived moral and narrative shortcomings. Parson Barnabas, another character, brings forth the doctrine of faith against good works, reflecting the religious disputes of Fielding's time and his stance against hypocritical clergy. Simple names, the simple names, like Fanny Goodwill and James Scout, reinforce characters' modest or straightforward qualities. Interplay of romance names. Fielding further engages with the literary landscape by utilizing romance names in the interpolated story of Leonora. Names like Leonora, Horatio, and Bellarmine satirically echo the conventions of the romance genre, enabling Fielding to lampoon its superficiality are highlighting the stark contrast to his main narrative. Conclusion Names become tools for parody, vehicles of meaning, and instruments of social commentary. Fielding's nuanced use of names reminds us that literature is not merely a collection of words but a symphony of meanings, waiting to be deciphered by curious minds like ours. I hope you've understand this lecture. If you have any queries, let me know in the comments section and do share it with your friends.